After the end of Hurricane Dorian, Tropical Storm Karen moves forward and Hurricane Lorenzo strengthens farther east. A nonprofit sets out to help those in need any way they can. Sometimes it can feel like there's not a whole lot you can do living in Oklahoma to help hurricane victims. But the Oklahoma City chapter of Feed the Children changes that. I collaborate with local community partners uh, before, during, and after a disaster to make sure that we can get needed supplies to them as quickly as possible uh, at the right location to the right time and the right to the right people. So when Hurricane Dorian hit, Director of Disaster Services John Rickett said they were ready to step into action. I had a couple of different partners that are located in the Bahamas that we work with all the time. And so we knew that those partners were going to need supplies and that they could get product in country. They focus on health care supplies like detergent, deodorant, toothpaste and toothbrushes, along with other essential items. It's sending in ready to eat food. Uh, we're looking in at sending gloves, work uh, material cleanup supplies uh, and potential flood buckets and things of that nature that we might have available. And it all doesn't happen overnight. It starts with a corporate donor that moves to the distribution center for us, the supply chain. We use logistics and, and our tractor trailer fleet to get product where it needs. The local community partner helps supply and put it on, the, uh, verify those families. And then you have a volunteer who's helped hand that product out to the families who need it. So far, Feed the Children has provided more than 360,000 pounds of supplies to those living in some of the hardest hit areas from the Bahamas to the eastern coast of the United States. Zach Verdia. Oh, you nightly. You can volunteer at Feed the Children in Oklahoma City to help pack hurricane prep boxes.